guys so i am back on youtube after a very long time and i am so glad that i'm back i just hope i don't get lazy again or find an excuse to get out of it um so yeah i just love the fact that i'm back and today i did this very simple basic party slash date slash day uh, look uh, you can use this during the day during the night so if you want to see what this look is about then keep on watching so i have already prepped my skin with a primer a moisturizer before that and now we are getting into the foundation so i usually use the fenty beauty in the shade 260 this is the bottle so today i'm going to mix up with the trial uh, bottle of the dior um in the shade 3n because since it's summer um i am tanning up quite a lot and uh, just the fenty is not going to help because it is a bit lighter and it is my exact shade during um uh, the winters but not during the summers so i'm just going to mix up a bit of both on my hand So I'm going to give you a trick right now for the glowy skin look. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add a couple of drops of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer drops. These are in the this is in the shade Rose Gold. I hope you can see it. This is how it looks the bottle. And I'm going to put a couple of drops in with my foundation. There you go. It's almost over guys. So I have a couple more shades. in this but um why i'm doing this is because it gives you that glowy look what everybody loves so i'm going to apply the entire thing up on my face i'm not forgetting the neck because the neck is always a bit darker than your face and you need to cover it up and don't be afraid of mixing two foundation shades because sometimes you don't get the right shade so you don't really have to not use it you can always use it including another shade i'm going to use a sponge it's already wet and damp and i didn't get it from any brand i got it from health and glow it's um it's actually the first time i'm going to use it so actually let's see how it works okay so far so good even the sponge is uh, quite nice It's very soft and unlike sponges that are for 2000 3000 rupees I got this one for 350 or 250 I'm not too sure so something in that and it's doing quite a nice job like you can see and you can see the glow as well what I was talking about uh the dior is more of a natural finish it doesn't give you full coverage but the fenty gives you full coverage so it's uh since I've gone half and half it's um practically in between and doing a half and half job but it's giving me the look i am going for today the very glowy look the very um home party look that's what i am heading for so i don't want it to be too heavy and at the same time i do not want it to not be there at all so because of the illuminator you can see there's like this glow and a shine on my face that's exactly what i was going for this is working guys instead of buying something for 2000 bucks to 1000 bucks something for 300 bucks to work so well so either you can just leave it the way it is or if you want a bit more coverage you can go in with a concealer i'm using the maybelline age renewal concealer and this is in the shade um medium um so this is one of those concealers that is being used with most of the beauty bloggers or basically anybody because it is one of the best and again this is a very affordable product so i'm just gonna blend that in so i went in with my under eye my cupid's bow my nose bridge and the sides which i've already blended now the next step is my brows i'll be doing my brows The product I'll be using is by Benefit. It's the Cap Brow by Benefit and this is my second bottle. I I've been using this for a very long time. So they have an angular brush. I just take a bit of the product on both the sides of the brush and the trick to not let oops and the trick to not let it dry out is cover the product as quickly as you can after taking the product. Don't leave it 
uh, open while you're applying because it dries out very well. So now I'm just going to do my brows very quickly. I actually have a good set of brows, that should. Uh, but just to fill up what is uh, left out. So I am done and uh, yeah, I don't need too much time on my brows because like I said, I like my brows and I am quite happy with that. Uh, and your brows can completely change your game even if you do not dress up too much and you just do your brows it's a game changer guys so do try that now I will be going in with my eyes first and then the rest of my um, face so I'll be using two palettes today I'll just be going back and forth both are the Huda Beauty palettes this is the rose gold palette this is the rose gold palette and this is the second palette she launched. I always go in with the lightest shade first on my upper crease to just basically cut it and just define it. So here we go. What I'm trying to do is come a bit closer so you can see it properly. gives you like a basic tint of pink like a neutral pink like a nude pink kind of a shade after this I go in with a darker shade it is called bossy it's a little mauvish brown um, so it's a mauvish brown shade from the first Huda Beauty palette so I'm just gonna apply it on the outer corners of my eye And I'm going to darken that by taking a little bit of Oud from the second palette. Now with an angular brush, I'm going to quickly take the lightest shade I can find. So I'm going in with Bay and I'm going to apply it on the inner corners of my eyes. It's more like a cut crease but the most shortest form of cut crease you can ever find. Instead of going in with a concealer or a primer to cut your crease and make a mess if you're not a very, uh, if you're not a pro then this is like the easiest way to do it. Huda Beauty does this as well, I've seen her videos and it's genius guys. It's short and it does the job. It's okay if you go overboard, you can take, you can go back with the brush uh, you had earlier and without taking any product just blend it again and uh, the leftover product just falls on your eye again and covers the spots you didn't want the crease to be cut. So that's it. Now where the crease has been cut, you can go in with one shade, two shades. So since I'm going with the most basic makeup, I'm going to go in with the lightest shade and this is called Neferati. I'm going to use my hands for this. It's like a nice golden shimmer but not too bright. You see that? I hope you can see that guys. It's okay if you mess up, you can always correct your eyes later. Do not be scared to get into that. I'm going in with my corners of my inner eye as well with the same shade because it's a gorgeous shade. You can always clean up the things you have messed up using a hand or a towel. And then again go in with the blending brush and just quickly just do a swipe and blend. Like I said blending is the most important thing here. We take a um, bossy again. Mix it up with a little of saffron. I want the um, lower lid to have a little tint of red and just go in with that. Now 
Next step is the eyeliner. The eyeliner is gonna make all the difference. Now after you're done with that, you go in with your mascara. Just a couple of seconds and again it makes all the difference. I don't like using fake lashes. So this is another way to do it. If you do not like it or you find it too difficult. And with the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced and I'm just gonna apply that. This is one of the best mascaras I've been through. Uh, I've actually used. This is one of the best mascaras I've used in the longest time. So now I'm going back to my face. I'm gonna use the blush first. I'm using the My Glam Trio palette. It is in bad shape because I have used all of it. You see there's no highlighter at all. Um, you guys should really try it. The highlighter is amazing. I'm just going to contour my face now. I'm already done with my nose. Now I'm going to just go on the sides of the cheekbone. Not too much, just a bit like I said, it's not a very big glam event. I'm going for the very basic makeup we're going for today. This is the Chrissy Tiggins. I hope I pronounced her word her name right because I love her, but I might have messed it up, so I'm gonna go in with her palette she had this amazing highlighter I haven't used it in ages so I just hope it works well I have forgotten everything about it it does work well okay this one is quite light on my skin tone so I'm just gonna go in with Christian which is gonna make it work I'm just gonna quickly do my hair and be right back so guys I am done with my hair again very basic very simple I've left it loose uh, if you can see the red stand, no I did not color my hair, it's the holy in my hair which just refused to go now but a lot of people say it looks nice so I'm just gonna leave it for some time and then color it back again so yeah this is the final look, it's very simple like I said you can wear it during the daytime, for a date, for a brunch and uh, parties, even birthday parties or something like a house party which I'm going to right now and yeah that's it, as simple as it is and uh, I like the glow, uh, glowy uh, touch it gives me so please try it and let me know about it in the comment section below and uh, do subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys very soon